Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. This is today's mystery card for October 8th, 2020. We play coffee and a mystery card every other week on the Kitchen Table Stamper Craft Social. And today we did this fun um, layering shapes technique. And I want to walk you through one of these. Actually, I'm going to walk you through both of these great cards. These cards are simple and bold. They're a great way to use up scraps. I chose my greeting from the Ornate Thanks stamp set. So let's start with that. I'm going to grab some Whisper White scraps. I've got 7 eighths of an inch by 5 and 7 eighths of an inch by 4 and a quarter. I'm going to stamp my So Grateful greeting with some Stampin' Up! Archival Black ink. I get these little spots from Paper Pumpkin. When they come through Paper Pumpkin, I love to hold on to them. All right, so grateful is our greeting from Ornate Thanks. And let's go ahead and stamp that with the Archival Black. Nice and strong black and white contrast here. We're gonna do that twice. So all the way to the left side of our four and a quarter inch piece. And then we'll go all the way to the right side on our five inch piece. You can use Memento Tuxedo Black for this, or you could pop out one of the colors from the card. Um, Coastal Cabana, Granny Apple Green, Poppy Parade, any of those would be a bright, fun, grateful greeting. All right, so we've got our So Grateful. I love this ornate thanks stamp set. Now, I did a lot of die cutting ahead of time because I'm going to walk you through both of these cards. So I have, using my um, stitched shapes dies, I cut the largest circle and the largest square from Coastal Cabana. And then the two and three eighths circle and the two and one eighth inch stitch square from Granny Apple Green. I did the one and seven eighths inch circle and the one and five eighths inch square. That's Mango Melody. And then the one and three eighths inch circle and the one and a quarter inch square from Poppy Parade. So I just die cut those from scraps ahead of time. These Fun La Doll layering shapes Cards are a great way to use up scraps. Now we're going to take each of these and we're going to cut them all in half. So I'm going to do just using my paper snips. We're eyeballing it the best we can. You can absolutely pop this on a trimmer. But our greeting is going to cover that raw edge. So scissors are just fine for this. Cut each of those in half. There's for our circle card. And then for our square card, we're actually going to cut corner to corner. And it does not have to be perfectly straight. The squares are even easier to do on a paper trimmer because you just put the corners on the track and cut them in half. Now, multi-purpose liquid glue. I'm going to go ahead and glue my triangles from the squares, kind of like a mountain range. See, we're going to glue the green to the Coastal Cabana, then the mango to the Granny Apple Green, and then a little Poppy Parade to Poppy Parade. We've made kind of a little mountain range. Now we want to do that in reverse for the bottom of our card. So we're going to do that again. So there's our little mountain ranges. Now we'll slide those. Let's do our circles now. For our circles, we're going to go concentric. So they're not going to um, peek out one past the next. They're going to actually nest inside. So we're going to go Granny Apple inside of Coastal Cabana, Mingo Melody inside of Granny Apple, 
and then Poppy Parade inside of Mango Melody. See, so they have one boundary that's shared on the circles where they don't have the boundary shared with the squares. Let's do the other side. Now with the other side of the circle, we wanna line them up all the way to the right there. We've got our little layering circle pieces now. All right, let's get our card bases in here. I decided that a nice neutral, but a warm neutral would be a good background for these. So I have two card bases here. They're eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Let's go ahead and run the bone folder over these. Now we're going to line these up on our card and glue them down so that we have about three quarters of an inch gap. I'm going to use multi-purpose liquid glue again and pop that one almost to the edge. And we'll do the same thing with our other half a circle, almost to the edge. Make sure that our grateful banner is going to cover that nicely. It does. And now for our squares, we're going to add our squares across the landscape card here and same with this guy gonna layer on our triangles we want them to go almost to the top edge and almost to the bottom edge Make sure our so grateful is going to cover the gap. Love. All right, a little bit more die cutting, and I did it for you ahead of time. For each of these cards, I went ahead and I cut this small primitive heart, cut one for each, and this is the Be Mine stitched dies and Poppy Parade scraps for cut the little hearts. Now, going to take some black and white twine, like the one from Playful Pets. I'm going to tie a couple of quick bows here. Okay, the big loopy guys. We're going to tie two of those. There's our big loopy bows. Now, I need the tiniest little dab of multi-purpose liquid glue on the knot. Less is more. Less is so much more than I'm actually going to just use glue that's on this one and we're gonna share and we'll just pop that in the center of the hearts now the so grateful banners are each gonna get one of these little hearts and put a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue pop this guy right on Same over here. A little bit. I've got a little tiny attacher here, a little stapler. I love the way little staples kind of bring some new texture to a project. So I'm going to go ahead and staple the bow with two little staples. Now, if you guys hang around kitchen table stamper, you know what this is. This is all of those little pieces of foam that I've used for die cutting letters and words. I'm gonna go ahead and peel and stick all these little leftover edges and bits. So from the little chocolate words, from the little alphabets that I do, I'm just gonna add a little foam adhesive to both of these using up some of this scrap. All right, now these have been used to cut out little cardstock letters and words. So they're sticky on one side and they're cardstock on the other side. So we can grab some multi-purpose liquid glue and just run that glue on those 
scraps of foam adhesive. So not only is this a great way to use up your scrap cardstock scraps, but it's also a really fantastic way to use up some of the scraps from your foam adhesive sheets. I'm gonna cover the gap with a four and a quarter inch, so grateful. And now let's cover the gap here with the five inch, so grateful. Center those guys. And look at that. Isn't that a bright, fun, colorful way to use up scraps? Okay, so they're bright and colorful. Let's add just a little bit of sparkle now. I've got my um, basic rhinestones here, and I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of little gems. I like odd numbers, so we're going to go for five. One of kind of the medium size, and then four of the small guy. And for this guy, we're going to add five also. It's such an earthy card with the crumb cake background and the bold colors. A little bit of sparkle is just kind of out of the blue and wakes everything up just a bit. There it is. If you've got any questions about the project or Coffee and a Mystery card every other Tuesday, you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. And the shop Stampin' Up! 24-7, you can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching. I'm so grateful.